So that's there. That's for OS X. Uh, this is for whatever I want. And basically, if I just pan the camera, all I do, I normally have these all, all populate with other drives. I just pull that drive, put another one in. Put, so OS X is on one, Linux is on another. Put the back in. Someone could probably engineer to do that with a boot manager. I just find it super simple because I can do clean installs on each one, pull the drive, put another drive back in. Now this has got one of those funky SSD type solutions on it. So you can open it, hope you see this, and put in a drive, plug that back in, put it back in again. Hope that showed up on the camera. It's a bit tricky to do all. But so yeah, so you can run multiple cards and this gives you the opportunity with the machine to basically do anything you like. And if we look over here, we've got display adapters and we've now got an NVIDIA 460 and our Radon X580. So this Windows setup I've got now is running the RX580 as the display card and the um, RTX 460 is just an additional card. Now there are some interesting benefits to this. I'll just show you. I've got OBS running because I'm recording this. So let's fire this up. If I go into setting on OBS, even though it's still running, hopefully this will keep going. Output. I can't change it now, but I don't only get the NVIDIA codecs, I get AMD's encoding as well. So let's have a look at something else. So here we are in Resolve. So if we've got to Resolve Preferences, and we go to Memory and GPU, we now have NVIDIA G GeForce RTX 460 here as a discrete card, the AMD Radon R580 as the display card. It's got auto detected in GPU auto. I have no idea how this will work. Um, I've no idea what it will do. I've not got this far with it yet, but let's have a look for the delivery codex. What have we got down here? So I've got H264. Let's just, have I got, let's try MP4, MP4, MP4. I've got AV1 now, H264 and H265. I don't have a drop down for anything AMD-ish. 